Master of Ceremonies, uh, Mrs. Mbegi, ladies and gentlemen, addressing a concern of a different kind. The Kenyan writer Ngungiwa Tiongo once lamented about a practice which, as he describes, as an abnormality that has become the norm. Everyone here tonight has an image of many an abnormality that has become normal in many aspects of our everyday life. One can indeed write social commentaries, novels, and academic theses on the different abnormalities which pervade our day. Among these would be undoubtedly be the practice which has, so to speak, singing praises for our loved ones, heroes and heroines, after which they have departed. And one would question and interrogate of why do you give such a beautiful account when the subject is late? Would it not have been better when they lived? We are gathered here tonight to break ranks with the abnormal so as to proudly to return to the normal. We are here to honor our heroines while they are still with us and in so doing say to them, well done and may you continue to bless us with the wisdom of your, de of our, of your deeds. One of the heroines we could not but honor tonight is Mrs. Zanelenbeg. <laughs> Sis Zanele, as she is fondly known, is the founder of the Women's Development Bank. Founded more than 20 years ago, 25 years to be precise. WDB has been extending loans to rural South African women to start or extend businesses. It operates along the lines of the Grameen Bank, which lends to the poorest of the poor in Bangladesh under the leadership of Professor Yunis Mohammed. It upscales micro enterprises. WDB also provides socioeconomic training, supports computer based preschool and adult literacy in own in our own languages and promotes girls' dialogues, among others. The trust undertakes gender research and documentation for policy formulation. Cezanele is a trustee of several national and international boards which promote social and economic development, especially in rural communities. Namely, the World Economic Forum Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship in Geneva, El Tola for Human Rights in Tunisia and India, Local Voice for Development in the Netherlands, Tabo Mbegi Foundation and the One Wilderness Foundation in South Africa, and is a retired chancellor of CEDAC City Campus University in South Africa. She studied social work in South Africa, Vets University, and has a postgraduate studies in the London School of Economics and the Institute for Social Work Training. She also went to the US School for Social Policy and Management. Cezanele has worked with the United Nations Commission for Refugees in the continent and worked in various social work capacities in the US and the UK. She grew up in Alexander Township, a Kasi girl. She is, above all, an African and a global citizen. As the old adage goes, behind every successful man, there is a woman. For those who do not know, Cezanele Mbegi married President Thabo Mbegi, the second president of the Democratic South Africa in 1974. As the women of South Africa, we make bold to say tonight that the successful story, the success story that President Beggy is, is incomplete without Cezanel. I want to repeat, the success that is President Mbegi is incomplete without Cezanel.
it is a pity that President Mbegi is not with us tonight because I can tell you he would agree with me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of calling Mrs. Zanel Mbegi to the stage. astounded that they did this. I had no idea what they were doing. They, they wrote to everybody what was supposed to be done and I wasn't told. When we started at WDB, we had a workshop and we said, we have to emulate, you know, to emulate some people. And we had these three people that uh, we, uh, Ma, Ma Ellen and Marceli and Mashope. Ma I regard them as the three nation, South African national treasures. I would like to say thank you to everybody who supported us. And um, oh, finally, somebody said we should th look ahead. I'm thinking that WDB, that as Yusuf said, the country needs this kind of work. We have a, a government in South Africa that has always fashioned itself as pro-poor. And they've got all sorts of services for the people in the corporate section. But we've never been able to develop uh, programs that go directly into the hands of the poor. We have replicated a socioeconomic program uh, for, for the poor to link them to development services. But most of all, as Mam Motlana, when she came to our workshop and heard that we wanted to lend uh, to women, and she said, you guys, you want to lend to women and you want to borrow from the banks? There are millions of women in this country. Why don't you let them collect money and borrow from their own resources? And when we went to the office and we thought, if we fall flat on our faces, then we'll never be able to work in this country, having lost people's money. So we went ahead with what we were doing. But now, WDB is in a position to register and, and to get a license for a mutual bank. And we'd like to create a, a savings bank that will use the monies of the women. Poor people are the greatest savers in this country. And at the moment, their money goes to the banks and gets borrowed by your good selves. They can't borrow it. <laughs> so we would like a bank where they can borrow for themselves from their own money. Somebody who said we must look ahead, we are going to have a college, socioeconomic development, and a savings bank. Thank you very much. I don't know what to say. <laughs>